I had to do over again, I would go to jail. For one thing, in California, the max usually that you're going to get is three years. Okay, what's three years in the jail compared to two years in Nam or three years in the Army? I don't really think that uh, there is going to be another generation of American soldier. I think that people are just tired of it. There's, you know, there will be people in the Army, but uh, the people that really feel strong on it aren't going to go in. Out of the sky drops Miss America and her friends, just for the grunts. Flown in with the ice cream, packaged, homogenized, untouchable white flesh. Fodder for dreams of home. are dying. At a level acceptable to both the American military and the American public. Another 65 this week, about the same next week, and the next, and the next, until the very last American division, combat division, is withdrawn. And so far, for all the words from Washington, only paper soldiers have gone home. The war isn't over, but it is ending. It is ending not because of the Paris talks or the demonstrations at home. It is ending because the largest and wealthiest and most powerful organization on earth, the American army, is being challenged from within, from the very cellars of its pyramid, from the most forgotten, the most brutalized, and certainly the bravest of its members. The war is ending because the grunt is taking no more bullshit. I just don't like, uh, I just can't take too much pressure from the army. You know. What happens to an unpopular officer out in the field? Most of the unpopular officers, from what I heard, if they, if they mess with a grunt too much, they get shot out there. A friend of mine, the uh, captain, uh, kind of got shot in the back. What, what was he doing? What was the captain doing to deserve well, being shot what, in the back? Uh, from what my friend said, he was uh, telling him to just go on through. And, uh, well, they were, getting, they were getting hit pretty bad. And uh, he was telling him just keep on going. <laughs> they said, no. He kind of got shot. Well, yeah, there's a lot of mistakes 
but you know the grunts um, don't always do what the captain says. You know, if we got uh, see the captain will stay back. He'll tell a platoon or something to go out so many hundred meters. You know, we don't do it. <laughs> we only go as far as we get out of sight, sit down, and come back in. We don't want to hit contact. That's one thing we don't want to hit. The Vice President of the United States, Mr. Spiro T. Agnew, arrives in Vietnam. He visits the Presidential Palace in Saigon. Here he gives the President of South Vietnam a gift-wrapped filing cabinet, a token of his esteem. Are you in need of a friend? Someone who tells you things, important things. Someone who offers you a wide degree of interest. Sports, good books, interesting stories, girls. Well, the Stars and Stripes could be considered a friend. After lunch, he will fly by helicopter to the heavily fortified American Embassy. There he will meet the American ambassador and American generals and pass out ballpoint pens and posthumous medals. Tomorrow he leaves Vietnam, having been assured that all is well. He will meet no grunt. A few months ago, when I was in the United States, this letter was given to me by a woman who lives in a small town in Ohio. The letter was written by her son, Kenneth, while he was serving in the infantry in Vietnam. I'd like to read it. Hello, Mom. Well, the shit has really started here. I've been in combat two months now, almost since the day I got here. I'm so confused about it, all I think some days is I'm going crazy. These people, the gooks, hate me, hate us all. So why am I almost dying for them? All the guys who are putting themselves on the line are grunts like me. We don't think this war is worth dying for. We don't think the lifers who won't fight are worth dying for. We've talked this out and we've decided to tell the company commander we're not working and walking into that bush again. At least we'll go to jail where it's safe. The afternoon Kenneth wrote that letter, he was killed. The telegram his parents received said he had died a brave man while storming a Viet Cong bunker. The medals they received said much the same thing. And the box they received, in which their son lay, was marked this way up, unviewable. How many Americans have been killed and wounded in Vietnam? Uh, through the uh, 22nd of August, 43,418 U.S. killed. How many U.S. troops are presently in Vietnam? Uh, how many U.S. troops are presently in Vietnam? Uh, as of 20 August, uh, 403,700. Of these, how many are in ground combat? That is, they are likely to go out on a long-range patrol. Uh, I, we don't break them out that way. We say that uh, approximately 60% of our forces in country are in either combat or combat support units. Would a figure of 80,000 be near? A figure of what? 80,000. I don't really know off the top of my head. I'd have to take that question. Do you have a proportion of this for drafted men in no, Vietnam? No, we have no proportions on what kinds of uh, uh, breakout of uh, draftees or, or enlistees. Uh, there possibly may be at the Department of Defense. We don't have it here in country. How many American casualties have been caused by mistake in the field? Do you have a figure for that? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand your question. How many American casualties have been caused by mistake or accident, either in the field or on the base? Uh, you're, you're asking me for how many casualties by mistake or accident? Yes. Uh, would you, I don't have the statistics here, I don't believe, but would you rephrase the question because I don't quite understand. Well, it. for example, uh, when a man is killed by a friendly rocket, that is a mistake. How many people have been killed by mistake I don't rather than I... have been killed by the enemy? I see. You're excluding, uh, you're, you're now excluding any accidents like uh, aircraft accidents or automobile accidents to this type no, of thing. No, I'm no, including all those. All accidents, all mistakes. Uh, I don't have those statistics. There's available. no breakdown. I'll, uh, I'll find out for you. 